Well, I was planning to uh, spend some time out in the garden pulling weeds tonight, but wait, there may be a reason to let him go. You don't need to. I now. don't have to do Great that anymore. Great excuse. Chad has it for us. He joins us now from his garden with a great reason to leave some of those weeds behind, Chad. Oh, oh you bet. I, I tell you, one thing I've noticed is as the soil has changed, so are the types of weeds we're getting. And uh, types of weeds that like rich soil, we're starting to see those because we've been working with this soil for a long time and increasing its fertility, adding a lot of uh, humus to the soil, and also a lot of lima gypsum. So fertility is going up. So we're getting different weed species. This is a uh, wood sorrel that is sprouting. Never seen that before. We're getting a lot of that this year. Back here though, one thing I've experimented with this year is we've had bean beetle issues really bad. Notice how the leaves are all chewed up and notice how much better they look. I actually let the gypsum weed go here. Bugs hate it. They stay away from it. And after letting some of it go, we're seeing the bug problems actually go down. And some of these milkweeds over here, it's gonna attract native bees and butterflies that'll help pollinate. So I like leaving some of the weeds uh, around Jeff and Gina. All right, Chad, find me a weed that deals with Japanese beetles and you're Ooh. on. See what I can do about that. Okay. Okay. Chad, thanks. Okay.